the part of the conspiracy theory thing that frightens me is how people just put this warm blanket of victimhood around them and then use that for explanations for everything goes on in their life. The CIA gets way too much blame <laughs> and credit and credit for things they had nothing to do with. The CIA is just a, a, a regular civilian intelligence agency, like a like just like the NSA. Are there corruptible people in there? A hundred percent, there are. Nobody's saying that there aren't. But like you're blaming things on the CIA. The CIA had nothing to do with. And the reason why is because it's the only like three letter identifier that you can come up. What you mean to say is like black book operations, like off the book operations. And, but you're 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 putting that whole category into CIA, and it's that that's what people the CIA. You is. know what gets me is the people that like are living in like a trailer park, and they're like the CIA is watching me. I'm like, yeah, the CIA is spending tax dollars to look at you because you have a, a fringe website with thirty people a month looking at it. Like, this is madness, man. It's just really like madness. my show like does good numbers, and I'm never once like the CIA. George, did you see the CIA is outside? Oh, I mean, look, write a passage. As long as the CIA sends me super chats, I don't give a fuck. That's my point. Like, I, I wish the CIA. Apparently, CIA is known for sending weapons to guerrilla units. I wish they would send me some weapons. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> send me some AKs. I'll take them. Well, well my point is like, <laughs> is the CIA why your relationship with your family's bad? Is the CIA? The is it the reason why your parents go? Why haven't you got a job? Is it, it's, is the the thing, CIA, it's the sixth is, Thanksgiving in a row that is, you're sitting is here. Is the CIA the re reason why your girlfriend cheated on your? Is the CIA the reason why you're poor? Is the CIA like that's that's my whole question. And like, there's a lot of people that are going to listen to what I'm saying right now. They're going to get real sensitive to this because it, what I'm saying is the truth. It's going to hit a little too hard and they're not going to be like damn you know you know no I, I i know bush playing 9 11 but maybe he's right maybe i should get off my mom's couch you know what i'm saying like it's just one Wouldn't of these hurt that that's the issue like I, i'm that the only part the the part of the conspiracy theory thing that frightens me is how people just put this warm blanket of victimhood around them and then use that for explanations for everything goes on in their life and if it comes off like i'm very serious it's because i'm a performance coach and i see these men who like ruin their lives because they just fall into this victim mentality rather than becoming productive members of society who can actually provide for a family instead they just go into these these ridiculous, um, you know what, they're not even ridiculous. I mean, if enough people believe them around you that you respect it, I guess it's not ridiculous, but it's there's no evidence to support some of these conspiracies that people have. I don't even blame them. If like you don't if you don't have a background in science, then of course you're just gonna believe in this kind of stuff. So that that's essentially what happens. I don't I don't have a background. I wouldn't say George and I have a no, no you, don't have to, you do have background. You guys understand that there is something called gravity. You guys understand. Uh, so we just paid attention in yeah, high school. Sure, is what you sure, mean. Like here's a, here's a here's a huge one. The reason why we had so much so much confusion over these um, anti um, uh, anti parasitic medications and started thinking they were going to cure COVID. It's because one of the the problems is people don't know that. Have you ever seen a guy who gets the flu and and tries to get a Z pack from the uh, from the doctor? Because they don't understand the difference between an uh, antibiotic and an antiviral. They don't, right. you know, they don't understand the difference between Tamiflu and a Z-Pak. They think it's all the same. They think bacteria and virus are the same thing. They just think medicine is medicine. Correct. It's exactly right. And so when you explain to them a, a, a parasite is different from a virus, which is different from a vaccine, they don't have a grasp of that concept. You guys do, which is the reason why I'm saying you do have a background. In under We're all scientists to some extent. But but like just understanding simple concepts like that. Well, if you don't understand that, then you're like hydrochloroquine. It cures coronavirus. I'm like, how is that possible? How could it cure a virus? It's an anti. It's an anti parasitic. It's a, that yeah, it's a, a dewormer. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I don't like even. They put call, the worm into me when they gave me the vaccine, e George. E even calling it a dewormer, which I know CNN was trying to do to insult like conspiracy theorists, and I understand what I don't mean to insult conspiracy theorists. What I mean to explain, what I mean to express to you is like. You're not. You're just completely missing the science here. There is no science that would indicate that something like that would work. And then, of course, the trials come out with ivermectin, and the trials are conclusive. It does not cure coronavirus. It does nothing to coronavirus. It does not nothing. And so, once the trials come out, it's like, well, no, those trials are they're they're colluded by big pharma. I'm like, no, they're not. That's not what happens. And then then, then the other problem are the people who take ivermectin, the people who take hydrochloroquine, and then they're they're free from COVID a couple of days later, and they're like, ah. Again, this is proof. <laughs> but really, they were proof. at the end of their 14 again, days they, of that's symptoms. That's exactly right. They're at the end of their symptoms. There's usually young, healthy people. They're at the end of their symptoms. And they're like, because I didn't have COVID after I took this dewormer, then now it's proof that uh, that this cures this disorder. And, of course, it isn't proof at all. It's just circumstantial. It's a coincidence.